I've, I've seen more than more than one or two times, and well, I'm eager to see how Liquid think that they can dispatch of it because I agree. It's like they put down Supernova and Storm hills it away, and there's not going to be much to, to stop them. But at what point do Liquid actually take that fight? True. I mean, the thing I guess I gotta give a bit of credit to then is uh, Liquid also have this, as you call it, objective, right? When they plop yes. down the tombstone. Uh, something I didn't like. I was thinking, like, what counters this Undying? But Marcy kind of does counter the Undying. She has. She hits very fast, and uh, right. she can either kill the tombstone in like a few seconds, or she can kill the Undying. So uh, that's their answer. The answer to the egg, I'm not sure. It's yeah, the team hitting it together with Beastmaster Aura. And then that will sometimes work out, and sometimes you'll all get chronoed, so... Yeah. I think it's going to be highly dependent, of course, on Seneco's placement on the Supernova Egg, right? Uh, to be completely honest. And if there's a chrono to cover him, or if there's the hawk in the air. Uh, all, all these things, right? There's... I, I like when you say these things. Like, there's there's eight other heroes in the game, nine other heroes oh. in the game, right? You can't just really talk about one in isolation, especially when it's a big team fight spell like that. But, yeah, I mean, if I were a Phoenix, I'd, I'd certainly be uh, kind of looking forward to this game. Look at the patience, by the way, of Liquid here. Stalking yeah. to Hawk. <laughs> uh, honestly, that, that's not a kill I think Liquid could easily get, which is why they were hoping maybe a support comes by to D-Ward and they probably jump someone like Roger. Yeah. Now for me though, I'm, I'm interested to see if Liquid can make this work. Like I would so much prefer playing... Oh, nice hook. But, yeah. <laughs> that boom draft basically? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just mesmerized by punch hooking. <laughs> Somebody's been practicing. Yeah. Uh. He starts off here with a ring of protection. Yeah, this this Sonic Phoenix. I mean, we, we talk about all his strengths this game, uh, and it, I would agree with you. I, I, I'd actually quite like to be a Phoenix in this kind of game. Usually, I get counterpicked with like Snapfire and Marcy immediately. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's yeah, it's it's a little bit easier if he can get out of the lane. He's not particularly strong versus Undyne. Phoenix still a one almost zero base armor hero. Um, he's got himself now at least a wind lace to try and evade Insania here, but Insania. He's going for the build. Lots of mangoes. He's a mango enjoyer and ready to try and do his best to 1v2 for Matumba. Yeah. Uh, they managed to get the lane back here, though, on Beth Boom in their off lane. Like, the Marcy did a really good job. I think they managed. Oh, no. Soneko's trying to pull. And he got the hook. Pardon me. Oh. Yeah. That's uh, plenty of damage. Oh, Phoenix as well. Not a hero you really want to be tanking creeps on, even. Uh. Uh, they hurt. Again, low armor and just. Oh, I mean, little HP when you're landing against it on dying, but your your melee, or sorry, your range, so you don't have the damage block. Because now it's just going to at least toss Sania back in the tower. Yeah, you can you can literally fight him in the tower there. Yes, yeah, so this is ending up a little clowny down there. Yeah. Uh, well, I think anytime you've got a pudge, it's going to be slightly clowny, isn't it? Yeah. What do you have in the other lands? Yeah, sight, not skilling the boar yet. Uh, yeah. Should be should not be that easy of an lane for them. Early on though, you don't have really have anything, right? So people are just gonna be last hitting. Yeah, pretty much, right? Some some chip damage here by Roger onto Boxy, but uh, of course Boxy with the tango running has uh, almost 12 HP regen a second, so he's not gonna be too bothered by this impetus level one. And if anything, Roger's kind of just wasting his mana up here. Yeah, I mean, what I would oh uh, what I would have preferred Roger to do here is get the Blightstone and then like position very aggressively on Psy. But at the same time, I get why he doesn't. Now Primal is level 2. If you step a little out of position, it will charge you down. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I see that as well. You're a bit of an Ench specialist these days, aren't you? So, speaking from some experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of Ench. I'm going to go TP back to lane here. That's insane. Yeah. Low on mana, but deceptively. Five mangoes in the inventory. He did. He does lose his courier, pardon me. Which is why Suneko needs to TP on back. But again, still lots of harass for him to do. And Matumba CS in like a dream. Seven yeah, seven. then someone who's not lasting like a dream is Marcy. I believe he has... Okay, he's got three lasts right now. Uh, it's not a good look. Unfortunately not. They go, oh, oh, going for another courier. He'll get it. That was nice. the boots on the fudge. Significant. Yeah. So Neko can always rely here now that he's got level 2 on that Icarus knife to get him out of a tough spot. Really long cooldown, though. Thinking about it in creep waves, basically, uh, with that cooldown. Roger, top is in some trouble. Boxy already used the Onslaught, has already used Trample. I think Ench is just going to go ahead and kind of sprunk away. Yeah. There she goes. He's giving chase, though. Is he going to be rewarded with a killer? He's got Trample here quite soon. Yeah, uh -huh. Onslaught and three. Nah, you can't go okay, for this. Yeah. But he's just pulling the wave again. 
Like, they're doing really well up here. Like, way better than I feel they should. Uh. Yeah, and I think Roger's going to be zoned away a bit here. He does want to get that flag bearer regen, but he's going to be jumped now. And, and Roger is simply dead. He definitely underestimated the damage that Zion Box could throw out to him. No. No, Batboom's lane are, lanes are not going well <laughs> at all. Uh, yeah, course, even uh, even mid, mid the storm is doing extremely well. I'm having a bit of a, a tougher first day. Liquid, of course, with two draws. Uh, the Batboom have yet to find a win, despite being ahead in CS. I think we only had the chance to look at some of their graphs, right? I haven't really had the chance to, to dive into the replays and take a look at those. But yeah, what we could see on the net worth graphs and, and whatnot, they were uh, some unfortunate games today. Yeah. No, for sure. I think, I reckon, I don't know what Mika is going to necessarily build here. I think uh, our treads first, but uh, if he decides to go for like a soul ring, I'm not exactly sure what the storm build is these days. Uh, but he, I think he has a relatively free early game. Like there's just not a lot of control for him as long as he's not being too reckless on his zips. No, you're right. No, when I'm taking a closer look here, it, it should be... Yeah, it's, it's very hard to lock him down, right? Like, it's mm -hmm. if you catch him in a chrono, I, I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, rebound, maybe, right? Especially with ball lightning level one. Uh, I, I could definitely see that one catching a lot of... Uh, uh, I can definitely see that one catching from Bog. But but this is an offlane Marcy, yeah. you know? So when she's missing off the map, I think you're definitely playing a bit more carefully. You expect her to be making those moves. On a support Marcy, I don't know. Maybe she's stacking triangle. That's a, re yeah. that's a reasonable explanation. Dilation. Lots of slows here that they're stacking. The Hawk, it's some time walk here. I'm a fire over here, it's very tanky. Yeah, that is a good point. Under tower with a bit of bonus armor as a Boxy is gonna roar on in from the mid lane. Careful here, the Coyers are gonna be sent scattering. As I think this is a kill onto Roger. Oh, can he get his his goodies from the Courier? Yes, he will. Goodies delivered, Boxy might live here. Last of the axes. of axes out from Zion. Sure. Collect him, nicely done. Bottom, Matumbo. Got a hook, looking to fight a little bit. Seneko with a big old Icarus dive on in. Uh, but there's no Tombstone. Level 2 Soul Rift here, actually. Oh, really? Okay. No, I've seen people do a few different builds. So some people go two points in Decay. But I think, like, from what I watched, just getting that uh, point in Tombstone is more worth it. Like, if you're going for kills, plopping that down is good. Oh, diving in there. Yeah, and a big one. Laurel has uh, two heroes under his towers. Make it beat some. Well, the level six, at least, to a more impactful. And oh, and it's for the minute six power rune. As Boxy might perish here as a result. No uphill miss for Roger. He will strike him down. But a big rune there for Mickey as he's got the arcane ready to go. Oh, and hello, Roger. And likely goodbye. There's a lot of damage there in these remnants. Yeah, oh, Max, not level seven. No, this storm. Uh, yeah, he's starting to come out of control there. And because I, I didn't pay attention, as you said, like there's not a lot of casual ways to kill him. Like they, no. I, they have nothing. And even more than that, even if they like supernova again, as long as he has managed to zip out, I reckon he's fine. Hook from Matumba is going to swing wide. As noticed, even without the phase boots, he's going to be able to traverse through those creeps. Yeah. No, and this, uh, this, uh, like the Beastmaster is doing so well. Like I, I don't see how this is happening. I think this tower is going to drop here pretty soon. Yeah. Everyone's going to fortify. I believe that is for top lane. But the Hawk, he's just got no support here. He's not yep. even level six. I mean, he's, he would basically need. Uh, Phoenix is only level three. Has almost negligible damage into Chronosphere now on level two Fire Spirits. Yeah, they yeah, would yeah. need. A, they would need a Zeus to rotate over. And Laurel just doesn't see him. Well, maybe. Going no. not to. But Storm just keep us in. Yeah, there's a roar up top lane as okay. well. But the TP bottom is from Mickey. They will get through Matumba Man. Up into the top lane, though, some bashes. And now the magic damage from Laurel. He's going to pick up two kills. There we go. Tower defended. They did need the Zeus. And they're going to pick up two kills for it. No Chronosphere needed. But Tower is still going to fall. Yeah. And, oh, they actually managed to get the kill on Matumba Man, too. So yep. a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, uh, favorable trades for Bepham. They, they do lose the offlane. It's an offlane Marcy, but... Yeah. Oh, my Tumba's well worth the trouble. I mean, the lucky part about Offlane Marcy is uh, she's still a Mar So she only needs uh, BKB. She'll be really strong. And then when she gets Basher, she's complete. Uh, so she doesn't need that much farm. But yeah. uh, she definitely still does need some. She needs to be more than level 4. Let's just put it that way.
And I, I actually kind of like the support duo of Marcy and Phoenix. Maybe not for the lane specifically against into an un, especially against an undying Pudge. I, I think we can agree that has its weaknesses. But um, you know, I like the idea of rebounding off of a Phoenix who's Icarus diving, and then lining yourself up for the Sunray to heal you and start nuking your enemy. Like that just sounds good. Yeah, I mean that's uh, later on, right? When you get yes. more levels. But early, like this is a fine lane. It's just undying is very strong. Yes. Is Almost any type of lane. Psy level 6 here. No roar though, so... Okay. He's oh, thought about maybe making a play here, but with the haste turn, he'll move very quickly back into the jungle for some more farming. Yeah. I did already leave top lane. He's, he's left it to Matumba, uh, who is going, I think, for these phase boots early and a full hooded defiance already for the Pudge. Uh, but he's, all, he's been very quick to leave that space. Sometimes, I know they did kill him, right? But I know sometimes the Beastmasters will still TP back top lane and, and try and contest like the very farm that the Hawk and Laurel are splitting now, for example. Yeah, generally you do want your Beastmaster in the off lane. It's just way more comfortable. I'm not really sure why they're doing this. Uh, maybe Matthias felt too unsafe down here. Could be. But uh, then preferably he would jungle here in his own jungle. But... Yeah. But for now, Liquid playing away from Matsu on the Pudge until he likely gets his Ag Scepter up. Uh, that'll be some time for Matumba, but he's making pretty good progress. His lane, not too difficult, not impossible. Just looking at other items. Phoenix, okay, so Phoenix is actually going for uh, a little bit more <laughs> of a peculiar item that's not completely out of the ordinary, but might take a while to get there, right? It's going to be the Orchid for Sinenko. Uh, as, hold on, we're going for a bit of a fine Zai in the mid lane. Has Roar, but uh, no good chance to use it. He's killed. Yeah, so this is a lot of the time what happens when the Beastmaster gets kicked out of his lane. Like, he just really can't find a spot on the map for himself. Right. Uh, and you just end up being weird. Like, he was trying to go for a rune. Like, maybe putting some pressure on the mid tower, but he's just all alone, and they kill him. Yeah, no, exactly. And that, that, that's, again, that's I was just surprised, because... Where Matumba is, that's usually where you see the Beastmaster. That's not the case right now. Liquid, I'm sure, having their reasons. Uh, but I think it is going to impact Zai's game just a little bit here. So he has taken his second death. Bottom, though, is where Batboom's looking to apply some pressure. Yeah. See now, Seneko, freshly up to level 6, still has that Orchid in the quick buy. I do want to talk to that about you here in a second. And I don't think they can quite catch Boxy there. But I've seen this as a solution when teams obviously have some catch issues, you know, like when it's a really great morph and first storm game. This Radiant definitely seems like one of those. Has no, uh, for sure. I, 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 this is not a game I would do it in, though. Uh, we'll see. I, I don't think he'll end up uh, go, uh, completing it or going for it. Okay. Because especially after when you see the storm picking up his own orchid. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like you're just going to be food. Like, you'll have orchid when he almost has orchid BTB. Right. Right. And that's where things get really awkward for you. Uh, I mean, I guess you force BKB, but then you likely die for your action. Storm Zip eventually is faster than an Icarus dive. Yeah. So as I'm moving back into the jungle here, uh, looking for that helm too. The Vlad's still not yet completed for him, so his game, again, slightly impacted. Uh, but it has behooved Matumba. So he's making really, really good progress towards that axe. And again, Mickey's farming just fine. Yeah. He's just farming his whole own jungle there, sometimes taking a few creeps in the mid lane. No, but th this is fine. Like, if Sai would have just gone to the Ancients earlier, uh, that probably would have been for the best, but... Yeah. He, he, he he was strong, he wanted to do some stuff. And yeah. he defends bottom for a bit longer until, of course, uh, Bet Boom really bring the numbers. I haven't seen the Hawk for a while, I would say up to here. No Midas build for him, straight Maelstrom. This is his decision for the Faceless Void. Yeah, uh, he's a little behind still in farm. Uh, but his level's level 8, the storm's level 10. Pudge, yeah, so he's just a little behind. Just get that oh, yeah. one nice... Okay. Yeah, get a little chrono kill and he'll be back. I think he should be fine here. He's got Sol Ring, should be enough mana. Oh, yeah. Sineko giving oh, chase eggs. Supernova. Yeah, and they still actually had a Sol Ring here, by the way. Seven stick charges. Yeah. A little... Oh. Slightly hopeful Supernova, I'd say. I, I mean, but it is a free Phoenix game. Like it's it's looking real good early, so I, I can't completely you know call him out against it. But I feel like it does leave you weak. Maybe Zion can look to start calling the boys of Liquid over here for a mid tier one tower siege. The tower's looking pretty low. Yeah. Uh, I guess Sai. He's still quite far away. I mean, with the how the game is going, with how well everyone is farming, you might as well just keep waiting. Just wait for the Helm of the Overlord, and then. You smoke up on dying, 
with uh, Beastmaster and you go get this tower together. Oh, for now though, the deep ward. Ooh, he's not oh gonna quite God. catch the hawk. Make it really committing for this one. Oh. A little bit lower on mana. Two bottle charges here with the hook. And now the Chronosphere to Hawk looking to turn, but Rot's on, so he's forced to back away. They'd really love to have a supernova now. Unfortunately, they don't notice though, doing what he can, because they will get through Roger, who's trying to reinforce. And Sanya has done well to drop a tombstone, but it's only level one, so it's not gonna save Matumba. Yeah. Rest of Bepum reinforce in numbers and it's going to be a one-for-one one trade, but a much better one there for Beppu. Yeah, that was a ex very aggressive, very optimistic play by them. Uh, at the same time, though, Boxy collects a little solo kill for himself, so he's feeling good. But yeah, that, that, was, that was a crazy go. Uh, I, I respect the play from Liquid. You know, they, they were kind of looking at the abilities and ults he's ready to use. Uh, Maelstrom did just get delivered her dog, so that could have been a bit more dangerous. But they do enough damage to him where he has to chrono and basically leave. If he's, if he's free to hit, maybe there are more issues there. But uh, without a supernova, it seems fairly likely that what's the worst that can happen? Uh, a punch death, not ideal, but not the end of the world. Nikkei still uh, continuing to play just as aggressive. Yeah. Okay, so he has the Vlads coming up now, so... Uh... Yeah, they're looking for this mid tower. Mm, makes sense. Smoke's gonna break on a Roger again. Tumba oh, throws ooh. the hook. Oh, nice little four stab there, and the Icarus time canceled. Uh, not only by that roar, but most importantly by the dismember. Zion picks up the tower, and Liquid with a lot more room to maneuver and make these aggressive dives like we're seeing right now from Mickey. In the mid lane he goes. Laurel with a bit of magic damage back, and here's gonna be now Boxy joining from the dire triangle. Bepum maybe not expecting to hit. Plenty of damage and buys enough time and space for Mickey to back up safely. Yeah. No, it's insane how much damage this Primal does to Enchantress. She literally just disappears. It's not a fun matchup. Now, Liquid are definitely mega in the driver's seat there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I feel like if they go together, they, they can do whatever they want there. Uh, no Chrono either, right? Yeah. So they can push the tower, they can keep farming, or they can go for Roche. And I would expect them to get this Roche uh, in a minute or so. Okay, there is still gonna smoke, so confident, confident, pardon me, enough with perhaps uh, time dilation slow and, and maybe an enchant to, to help him get the supernova a more uh. impactfully. And there is maybe a scout on the Mickey, but again, there's there's just no kind of instant stun here. And I, I think the time where you can look to catch him with something like a rebound is quickly running out. He's about to get level two bot lightning that does uh, decrease the cast point or the cast animation. Uh, where Zip has to, or sorry, where Storm has to do his like little Mario pose before he zips away. So, oh, okay, there they go, they catch him. <laughs> Is the follow up here? Oh, goodness, the damage, but he avoids it. And also, he had an infused raindrop, so Laurel just shy of the damage that he needed. Supernova, though, in the middle of the river. Boxy, though, pulverizing the enemy mid laner, will take him down. This is just a support for a mid. So, yeah. all things favoring Liquid now. Oh, again, Mick is setting up for a little solo killer. Oh, but the Hawk, oh, he has a ward, he sees yeah. it. Uh, that would have been pretty spicy. The Hawk, by the way, who has Chrono now, uh, but of course has no Supernova to fight alongside it. Now, this Primal Beast, even as a position 4, is a huge issue for them. Because not only are the stuns necessary for a Storm Spirit, like if you can't stun this Primal, he's going to deal so much damage. He's trampling all over you. That's right. No, I mean, completely right. Not having uh, the ability to stop one or the other, who are both highly movement-paced heroes to do their damage, to reposition as well. It does make this uh, more difficult. And, and Sania uh, being very annoying. That's now the second camp that he's blocked. Roger forced to expend a lot of resources here in centuries just to unblock his uh, course camps. Yeah. With some economic damage. There's this Insania who is going immediately into Locket. So preferring the healing build is starting out to put points back into Tombstone. To level yeah. two already. But Liquid look like they're thinking about Roche. Yeah, no, yeah. They, they should be very free. Uh, unless Bethboom can do some like amazing smoke here. Because they, they need to land like a Chrono uh, Supernova combo, you know? This is uh, something that we maybe didn't think was going to happen, but Seneco actually really committing uh, now for his Orchid as Matumba. That'd be useful now to silence him. And since Seneco is going to find his Zeus next to Orchid, the Hawk is in, though. And that's a kill at least uh, onto one, but it's actually a kill uh, onto Notice. Down he goes. Zai might be next to fall, but this Tombstone perfectly placed on the high ground. It's forcing back Bepum. Seneco can't do much. U Supernova in five more seconds, but look what have timed this fight perfectly. You can really just kind of sit here in the trees and offer condolences. Yeah. 
Oh, oh no. no. Roger comes uphill. It's going to be a, a, almost certainly a kill here. Yeah, yeah. Soulburn will, will get the job done. Nah, the, the Zeus kind of was expecting some backup there, right? But there was none to be had. Where did he use that supernova? Where was that? There was the mid lane, right? Yeah. Uh, it was the mid lane, yeah, in the river earlier. Yeah, yeah that's when he supernova And then the hawk used Chrono. And then, no, he didn't have it. Then they just liquid because they're in the driver's seat. They're they're forcing these big kind of wombo combo team fight ultis just to be used out of sync, and it's really hurt Beppu. Whereas before, even if Liquid, they don't get the tower, you know, and they're totally fine with that because now there's no Chrono. There's Supernova, but I think you know, Supernova level one can be quickly focused down by these five lads now. Yeah. No chance here. Gross is down. They just permit it. And uh, Box is going for kind of a different item build. Going Blink Dagger straight up. Hmm. Like any other Primal Beast we've seen, no matter the positions. Uh, They've all tried to get a BKB as fast as possible. Right, right. But this game with no stuns, I, I kind of like it. Like it definitely help him pick off. Him and Storm can work together now. Yeah, that's that's kind of funny, right? Because of course the, the biggest strength of this hero back before when he was in captain's mode was you would just onslaught from behind. Yeah, and and now you, there's no heads up for the Zeus, right? Yeah. Before this blink dagger, you hear him coming in the hook from yeah. Matumba. <laughs> Nicely done there. So Nako not expecting that, trying to go for the sun ray heals. Set himself up for yeah, a, a date with, with Matumba Punch. That's right. I think we can now go crazy on this map. At least they completed the BKB on Marcy. She just needs level 12 now. She'll be quite strong. Um, other than that, yeah, he is, as you said, he is committing for the Orchid on Phoenix. Yeah. And he will get it in a few minutes. So maybe that will surprise them. Uh, Phoenix definitely a hero that can Radiant's farm, and Mickey actually feeling really attack. confident in this game. I, I think there's no reason why he shouldn't. So he actually stopped building BKB. He's gonna go for maybe Kai and Sanja at least. At least Kaya first. Is he maybe considering Bloodstone to, to point to prove uh, my point right? I always said maybe Storm builds Bloodstone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who knows, right? Yeah. No, it's uh, a lot is connected to the ages, right? Like yeah. he's feeling way more comfortable now. Second life and all. So Nico, he's going to be really struggling to find the uh, the space and time to farm this. Ah, uh, they're doing weird smoker bet, but he really needs to hit level 12 on Marcy. It's a big difference. Oh, he's so close. Maybe he expected to get it with this way, but he split yeah. that XP of the wagon. Just needs, what, 31 more experience? Zai, Zai, look at him. They're baiting the ancient black dragon. Now the hook. Oh, from Matumba, <laughs> just off the mark. He was smoked standing right next to him. He was daring that. Or to be daring that Marcy to try and get a, what is that, a juicy 250, 300 gold? Yeah. There is notice level 12, and you, as you say, this smoke plate from Bat Boom is, uh, it'd be fruitless for them. They, they go top, but Liquid, they're all concentrated around bottom. Uh, they like holding this high ground here. It's going to give them a nice place to fight on while they siege tier 1 and tier 2. No, it's looking more and more difficult for Bat Boom to do anything. Uh, I mean, they, as long as you do have this Chrono Supernova combo, there's there's always potential for a nice fight, but into all of these Hawks, into Aegis, uh, it's quite difficult right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and again, I think catching Mickey becomes really the most difficult part. I think you can, like, really go for quite a YOLO Supernova and like, be ready and expect the Hawk to back you up. But the Hawk's not really going to be in position to do that until he has BKB. I mean, he might be, you know, ruined by something as simple Ooh, as a Oh, they're going for Zeus here. And they're going to get him. Yep, Mickey okay. catches a glimpse of him. Instantly silence. Foxy. Matu's killing around. Matu killing Enchantress in the river. Uh, that's an easy one. He'll, he'll out heal that. Don't worry. This, this Pudge uh, this Pudge Eggs up oh, is very strong. And that's not it. only it. Marcy is getting bored. But she got out at least. I don't think it's it's enough time. I think Zai was just being like, I can solo kill two guys. Check this <laughs> out. <laughs> Me too, thanks. <laughs> so we'll, we'll choose a tankier target. Uh, so that's Roar gone. Well, it's not much else committed there for Liquid for those two kills. Dyer's middle tower is under I don't attack. really think that Boom are too great in position to defend this yet. The Hawk again with with BKB, I think he can maybe make a play here, and he has bought out for it. Yep. No, I mean Bat Boom are kind of ready to fight. It's just SC. They, they you can't quite get to Liquid's fought. heroes in the way you want to. There's always something blocking. There's always something giving them vision. Uh -huh. Because if they could just take an honest fight there, just five on five in the river, they definitely would. 
Okay. Yeah, these big items coming online now. Uh, BKB, obviously, for notice, and level 12, power spike. The uh, full Orchid is done, and of course, the BKB for Dohawk, as they are going to be able to move under the cover of a ward. Ah, but Boxy's going to break the smoke, and he blinks <laughs> away too fast there. That boom with a swift D ward, but that's going to take some wind out of their sails. This Liquid might even look to counter initiate here. Yeah, oh, Matumba in. in he goes. He's going to be interrupted there by the stun. He does not actually have a BKB on Matumba quite yet, as there's going to be the Supernova committed, and oh, the Chronosphere does come out. They but still 50, get the kill there. 15 seconds on Aegis. Yeah, and Mickey, he doesn't mind. He still good to fight, like you say, and have that Aegis. Laurel's gonna die. There goes the Aegis now. But he's coming back with full oh, yeah. mana, and you best yeah, believe, Yeah, look out, man. He's gonna be diving you. In he goes to the Tier 3 tower. Box is here to spark, and they've timed it perfectly here as his BKB expires. Double buyback triggered out from Boom, but the support... What can they do? Seneko, he's nearly dead immediately a second time. His Orchid doing some damage here to the Storm Spirit, but a big heal there from Insania keeps him topped up. Notice off lane, Marcy here. Do whatever you can. But uh, I mean, she can only watch as the Enchantress pulverized and torn apart by Liquid. The high ground's next. Oh, it's getting ugly here, Pi. Yeah. No, Liquid definitely showed me that this lineup is more than playable. Uh, uh, making it look really easy. What is this? Yeah, 24 minutes, 16k up and killing the racks. Uh, not looking good at all for Bethboom here. Yeah, that that storm going going in with Aegis there, just tanking both the big ultimates. It's huge. Yeah, I, and that's what I was saying. Like I, they can look to set up a Phoenix Supernova pretty much almost anywhere, but. Uh... So that's not really how they're hoping to be able to set that one up. <laughs> Team fights uh, torn yeah. apart rather easily, quickly. Liquid still very much in the driver's seat. I always say, like, Storm, to me, he's he's one of the best Aegis users in the entire game, right? He comes back with full mana, HP usually comes back ready to use a BKB, and he's just anywhere he wants to be in the fight. No, for sure. Uh, I mean, and they, I don't... Maybe they mistimed Aegis a bit, but I, I don't think they thought they still had it. So they popped everything on him, Chrono, Egg. And then they realized mid Chrono that, all right, we cannot, can't kill this guy. Just about 15 seconds off there, yeah. unfortunately. And while well, it's going to balloon the net worth lead up to 20k here for Liquid as they continue to prowl around the map. Liquid so far have not lost a series. They've, they've drawn them, so they've not won a series. But they go into game one already with a commanding lead. More and more items coming online here. A couple of luxury items even being queued up. In the meantime, for Bet Boom, it's. Uh, Bang for your book kind of item. Suneko's, uh, Suneko's Orchid, unfortunately, uh, however useful it could have been, especially against like this Mickey Storm, it, it does feel like that window is closed now that he has his own BKB operational. Yeah. Yeah, let's be honest. The, the window was never there. Could never find that window. It was a small window. Uh, a very small window. A quantum window. A Schrodinger's window. <laughs> is it open or not? I don't know. <laughs> No air is coming through it. It's still hot in here. A little too hot for Batboom. Yeah, no, so Batboom's you know, like the best bet, so to speak, is for Liquid to basically dive the fountain, like the storm to overcommit and then get somehow surprised again by this Orchid. Yep. Um, something but like crucially, that. though, they can't they can't probably chrono the fountain. They need the fountain no, not to not be chronoed. Yeah. The, the actual entity that fires projectiles, because you can chrono it and then it won't attack, obviously. Yeah. That's, that's part of it here. Okay, so Roche is in a minute. So if Betum somehow get a miracle fight here within the next... No, not within the next. In 50 seconds. Uh, and they get to wipe Liquid and Roche, then they're looking good. But uh, yeah. it's a tall order. But here they go. It is. They're going to move out of the base. Insania playing his dream undying support game. Max healing. He's not here for damage. He's here for love. That's right. to heal up his allies. No, no. But how did he even get this box? They cannot. No, he's too tanky. Oh, they thought about I mean, he's too tanky, support. but it's also they have no initiation, right? Like, how do you get on him? I mean, he still has a blink away, by yeah. the way. He just onslaughted. Continue to chase. There goes Seneko. Okay, there's damage. Uh, it's going to at least stop blink, but it won't stop onslaught. And now, Liquid, they know something's up. They're farming in the triangle as a team, and they will not be spurred to action yet. They're playing it patient. They, they want to just wait for Roche. They know that there's really no need to try and run up cliffs uh, to go here or there and set themselves up for like a chrono. Or, oh, well, actually, that being said, in they go. All right, the Hawk is calling for them to camp this ward. Oh, but he jumps 
away just when he's about to break the smoke. Ooh, BKB on BKB. Matumba as well is going to get off a full duration. Dismember notice trying to fight through this one, but they've just held him oh, down no, throughout this entire duration of BKB. Liquid, they're going to wait outside of, of the ramp of death. And now Matumba, he dares go into the ramp of death. He's fallen pretty low here, actually. But there's the rest of the team now initiating behind him. The Hawk pops the BKB. There's the Chronosphere. It's going to catch Insania and Matumba here. Matumba falling low and will die. But they've gotten through notice. That's a dieback for him. And Mika is just free to jump around these fights. Laurel, he's doing damage. But now he's all out of mana here. The tank is empty. So is Mika's. But he's come off much better for wear here. It's only the Hawk who survives for Bet Boom and Liquid. Well, the game's their oyster. Go and take Roche, sure. Go and take top barracks, whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, Matu might have been a little too brave there, but at the end of the day, he's just baiting for his team. Absolutely. Uh, only serves as roll tanks a couple of spells that basically tank Supernova and Chrono. Yeah. Uh, this team will be uh, one racks. Uh, to the advantage here, or another, because they've already taken care of mid, pardon. Yeah, certainly feeling strong. Ah, I think they'll just go back now. Go get the Roche. Hmm. Interesting blood throne. Yeah, it's just a nice extension item, of course. And if he hits the Zeus, it'll severely reduce their damage in fights, but you get choosing to upgrade that one immediately. Don't think he can really go too wrong with whatever he decides with the net worth lead that Liquid have purchased, but I think it's interesting he decides to upgrade that first. Yeah. I mean, it makes him like insane for solo killing, right? I don't know if that's sure. E even if you pop BKB, ah, you probably survive, but it's close. Yeah. I was thinking maybe he'd start queuing up an Ag Scepter or something like that, right? Going for that 20 talent he's about to get you know, a little budget black hole, right? To initiate, but I don't think he, again, I don't think he can really go too wrong. He's. He's building whatever he feels like is, is the best at killing right now in any of this game. Yeah. He, he'd know best what that is. It's a game you can buy a little more fun item, perhaps. Sure. Yeah, I mean, Zive's almost got an AC done. That's a fun item with your inner Oh, here he there. goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Seneko doesn't have Icarus Dive. Already escaped into the trees, trying <laughs> hopelessly to TP out. But and now they go bottom. It's Liquid, they're unyielding here. Look at that, they're eating the Hawk alive. Matumba, oh, okay, Hook is gonna be dodged there. There is a goes. jump in two seconds. The Hawk's been forced to BKB, has no Chrono for 25. They have no team fight. Laurel's being jumped now by Boxy, who has a BKB. There he goes, trampling around the fight. Oh, it's a huge onslaught. Zeus is deleted. Ench is roadkill, essentially, on the front bender of Boxy. I don't think they're done. I think they're after Notice here. Matumba with a blink in eight seconds. Notice might be a little bit too speedy. He has rebound and a creep wave here to rebound off of shortly, so he'll probably make it out alive, but... It's gonna go for the hook? Nah. He's got a blink. Matumba. Okay. He's objective gamer. Yeah. Come on, no, Pi. We're not playing ARDM. <laughs> yeah, TI. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there they go. Out of the bit. Tier four towers here for the melee creeps. Boxy at the ready to jump on in. Sinanko smoked oh. up. The Hawk smoked up. There's going to be the dismember as well. They're immediately uh, on to the edge. who's just respawned. And goes Sinanko. Does find an Orchid. He silenced himself though in return. And the hook from Matumba. He needs to get off the egg and he can't. Doesn't quite do it. The Chronosphere doesn't catch anyone who's really killing the rest of Beppo. And, uh, and this one's over, Pi. Yeah, chase straight into the fountain. And will we finish him in there? Yep. Yeah. Ah, they, they, go. they, they finally <laughs> kill Mickey, but it's the fountain that gets the job done. Uh, and unfortunately, it's Bat Boom who lose game one to Team Liquid. Yeah, unfor yeah, very unfortunate for Bat Boom. 0 5 now uh, in the first five games. Uh, this, I think I myself have been in this position in TI, and it's not a good feeling. Um,